Okay, this is unusual vlog, vlog or video blog, whatever. So, why unusual? Because I have strange goal. So, what's what people are doing basically? What they do? They they buy camera. They go on vacation. They shoot with camera or with a cell phone. Now, some people might think it's kind of strange. I finished photography school or video, and I'm using action cam. I think action cam is good for backup. If someone will steal your camera if something damaged if something whatever it's good to have action cam and action cam doesn't care about the water in many cases even if they say waterproof I don't really believe in it because I'm using right now wireless microphone and in order to use wireless microphone you need to remove that door so when you remove that door it's it's not really waterproof it's kind of waterproof so anyway it's good to have action cam as a backup you can put in your backpack, you can put anywhere. I don't really like to use cell phone because on cell phone you have bank app or email or whatever. I don't feel very comfortable to use, uh, you know, phone for video taping I would rather use action cam now from my findings actually it's kind of strange but many people don't talk about many people are saying oh Insta360 H Pro blah 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 a king a winner because those people are not engineers they are not engineers and they are not really photographers I don't think so because if you look at uh, Action Cam 3, Action Cam 4 the, the, uh, the lens they have, they have lens lens equivalent so if you look at lens equivalent what do you see action 3 action 4 is equivalent to like 11 millimeters and uh, insta 360 is like 16 millimeters so it's somewhere between 16 or less now I can tell you uh, the winner actually is DJI for the lens native width for the native width <coughs> excuse me DJI is a king why because because it's wider native is wider 11 not 16. so i don't know exactly how insta360 is doing that wide angle is it some kind of stretch or what but if you have 11 millimeters it's wider now there is a second thing to it if you have wider lens naturally you have better 
depth of field. So the natural depth of field for DJI is better than Insta360. Yeah, Insta360 has maybe better AI or some kind of new technologies to make sharper or better. But the close, the close distance is not good because it's native 16, not 11. But with 11, the wider the lens, the more depth of field. So because they have preset lens, this is not like out of focus lens. This is like the preset. they set it certain certain way it's not like out of focus keep going back and forth you just they set that's it and the sharpness is depending on the aperture is one but second thing depending on the how wide is the angle so if sony had lens like 24 millimeters f4 you can have better f4 wider if you have wider lens so if this is 11.11 11 millimeters but the aperture is 2.8 it has certain depth of field and if for instance insta360 is 2.5 and 16 the depth of field is less that's why people complain the close distance is not good it's normal it's natural but anyway this this one is my additional experimental vlog i guess using action cam for food vlogging because this is dji action 3 and the close distance is like nine inch actually one of the best ones for the action cams uh, so i keep in mind nine inches and i've tested before nine inches working fine so approximately you know what is nine inches so suppose you have food it depends on what size you're wearing So this is Phuket Thai. I like this place. I go sometimes. Phuket is the island in Thailand, but this one is in California Beach Boulevard, California. Uh, so Beach Boulevard, I would say like Huntington Beach, I guess. I would call it Huntington Beach. Let's see what they have. So I like it's called Yam Talai combination seafood salad. Yum, like. So it's better to get closer to the window to have more light. So this this window, but not much light. This is 17 millimeters equivalent. I changed to Rocksteady Plus and 17 millimeters. So this is Phuket Thai. Phuket Thai exotic cuisine. 
they have quite many pages. I think they have more salads than normal. Take a look how many salads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven salads. Normally, restaurants don't have that many. Okay. okay. So I got Thai iced coffee. I like it. And I'm waiting for my salad. Looks like this seafood salad. I think this is the first time I'm trying this. They put muscles in it. I got egg rolls, Thai egg rolls. So that's it. I'm only gonna have salad. I eat salad, but I wanna those egg egg rolls too.
Let's see. Very hot. <laughs> mm. So it is open 11.30 to 2.45, 4 to 8.30, special lunch, I like those trees, like uh, it look like banana tree or something, so anyway, it's called Poké Thai. Say it, poo kit. Don't ask me why. Poo kit. Oh, that says poo kit. It's not really cheap. This is California. This is not Thailand. Seventeen dollars then for salad. Eight bucks for four egg rolls. But it tastes good. It's not a... You know what some call street food? Certain street food is a little bit... It has like a cheap, some kind of touch to it. This has more like a... sit-down mm -hmm. restaurant touch to it. Uh, what else can I say? Well, this action cam actually action three i think it can handle if you're doing food vlog uh, during the daytime and you are close to the window it's okay otherwise you might need to consider bigger sensor cameras uh, what else can i say you need wide angle this was 17 millimeters i said on 17 uh, with 17 is okay, but I would say like 24 would be too narrow. I would I would go with 16, 17, 15 maybe if you really want. 15 look some kind of a little bit bubblish. I like 17 better. Uh, there are some dealerships, but I don't want to go to the. It is Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, Jeep. So on the other side, far away, across the street. And I've seen Mazda dealership. But today I'm not gonna do that. I have planned to go to, to see Ferrari, but not today. Maybe on weekends. So what can I say? I think it's good. Honestly, 
even if you want many times you cannot get a seafood combination salad I think uh, I did try a long long time ago maybe like 20 years ago but in general you don't see seafood combination salad in California many times it's like they call lab or larb larb chicken or pork you can get uh, squid salad or you can get uh, beef salad and papaya salad I think that's it I don't think combination seafood combination it's very often to see and then beside it I've seen they have Phuket salad which is normally you don't see that's that is kind of like regional some kind of salad to me and the price is not high it's like a chicken uh, I guess with veggies the price is not high the seafood costs much more so like Phuket chicken cost like eight bucks in combination is like 17 or oh, 17 change or eight and change so um, anyway because it's hot right now it's very hot I have this kind of look dress so uh, I need to check online if Thai people are making cold soup um, in, in fact in Europe like Spain they have gazpacho or Greek they have own soup and Bulgaria has own soup Ukraine has cold soup uh, from what I know Japanese have cold soup and Koreans have cold soup but I don't know if Thai people have cold soup I want to check later uh, because I didn't like to sit and read all that ask questions no, my main purpose was to get salad normally when it's hot I like to order salad and for some reason Thai salad is not cold I can tell you they are not getting that from the fridge uh, at home I have fridge too I make my salad but my recent salad was like I bought a bunch of frozen vegetables you know carrots peas beans uh, corn whatever and I put in boiling water for like one two minutes or so so when they go on top it's ready and then I've added like mayo you can add some you know black pepper or some other pepper if you want a little bit of Dijon mustard is okay so I just I make by myself or oh, also I added potato to that and egg so it becomes like potato egg plus veggies so I had salad like that but anyway if I'm getting my salad from the fridge it's much colder than that to me I don't know where they keep that salad veggies probably on the table uh, the, the temperatures wise temperature wise is like to me it's like I would say room temperature uh, seafood I would say it was cooked and chilled but it's not from the fridge I don't think it's that cold uh, what else can I say well egg rolls they were very hot looked like he was just frying right before me I was a cook before I know if somebody's frying right before me I know 
how it feels and crispiness and so they're very hot uh, I don't think it's Chinese egg roll it's some kind of tie bend to that um, I would say Ch there is Chinese egg roll there is Thai egg roll and there is also Filipino rolls I don't think it's called egg roll I think there is some other name but they're Filipino I think they put pork and uh, onion inside but tastes very good crispy and the top is extremely crispy but this is Thai I'm not sure how they eat vegetables with the egg roll but sometimes I just put in the sauce veggies sometimes egg roll but overall it's pretty good I don't know I don't feel like I wanna have a dish today I just want to have salad and maybe egg rolls sometimes I do with Vietnamese the same I go to Vietnamese store and I don't buy any dish but I buy they have the spring rolls I guess they call them. it's like vegetables with shrimp and rice paper on top and you have that peanut sauce you dip in peanut sauce sometimes I like it especially when it's hot I don't feel like eating hot food and that is vegetables good for health 